Hi, my name is Karina Oliver and I'm the SQL Server Product Marketing Manager here at Microsoft New Zealand. I'm here with Len Wyatt. He's visiting us from Microsoft Corporate Headquarters in Seattle. Uh, Len, why don't you start off by telling us a little bit about your role there at Microsoft. Uh, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm a, pro a program manager in Microsoft at our Redmond headquarters. I work in the SQL Server team and um, I work in the, in the big data area now, which is you know, the, the whole Hadoop ecosystem and, and how we manage not only terabytes but even petabytes of data um, in our online services. Great, that's interesting. So Len just had a really popular talk here at, at our Tech Ed 2012 a full room. Why do you think everyone's so interested in big data? What's driving this? Well, I think there's two, two key things that are driving it. One is there's more data in the world all over the place. Um, you know, people are creating more transactions in traditional um, data warehousing systems. And also, there's new kinds of data that are showing up. You know, we've got sensor data that's coming in from places. We've got satellite imagery. There's all kinds of data sources that we now want to include in our data warehouses. Um, and besides that, there's new types of data that, that aren't even tra you know, traditional data. There's, now, there's image data, like those satellite images. There's, there's Twitter feeds, and there's email messages that people want to analyze. So there's new things that people want to be able to do analytics on all the time. And all this data has to go somewhere. That's true. Now, it must be getting a lot cheaper to store that data as the economic shift. Is, is that something you're seeing influencing this quite a bit? Absolutely. Um, disk costs are coming down. Uh, it's making it possible to store a lot more data. And that combined with new software architectures, like the, the Hadoop ecosystem, um, together makes it possible to to work with incredible volumes of data that just we couldn't have conceived of before. Yeah. So how is Microsoft working in this space? Why is it important to us? Well, Microsoft's doing um, a couple of things that are really important here. Um, one is that we're working with the open source community um, to make sure that Windows is supported as a first class operating system underneath the Hadoop ecosystem. So, so Windows will be just as well supported as Linux is in the, in the Hadoop environments in the future. Um, and that's important because then you know, we can, our customers can run with, with an operating system that they're comfortable with. Um, in addition to that, Microsoft's taking a number of steps to make sure that we've got a highly manageable system that, that you can deploy and manage and monitor and upgrade your system um, in easy ways. Um, and then Microsoft, Microsoft is also working on integration so that you've got your re users who do analytics or reporting or have interactive dashboards um, that they can still work with the Hadoop ecosystem using the tools that they're familiar with. Great, that's really interesting. How have you seen this uh, applied in the real world that's um, a really good example of what you can sort of achieve out of this new, new big data that's available? Yeah. The, I think the two most common scenarios are companies that have large volumes of data, even if it's kind of traditional tabular-oriented data, but just volumes that they couldn't work with before. And we see even traditional retail companies who are loading their data into Hadoop now, um, instead of doing ETL processing to load a data warehouse. Um, and then the other common use case that is really prevalent is, is social media analytics. You know, there's the Twitters and the clouts and, and organizations like that that are doing things like sentiment analysis and, and trending and, and, um, and, and these kinds of things to, to help people understand what's going on in the social media world. Excellent. Would you have any quick tips for people that are looking to um, kind of introduce this new concept and new theories into the organization? I think the, the main thing I would say for somebody new to the area is to keep an open mind. This is really changing fast. There's a lot happening, and um, there's, there's new tools and new methods. But at the same time, you've got to remember that the fundamental principles that you've always worked with about you know, data quality and, and data management still apply. So yeah. if you take your grounding in what you already know and combine it with an open mind to the new tools, I think there's a lot of opportunity here. Awesome. Thanks so much, Len, and thanks to everybody watching. Mm -hmm.